March 2024 has come to an end. In this video, I will go with you over the results of March 2024 based on the NRMP data. One thing that will help you understand the NRMP data is understanding the terms. The term non-US IMG is referred to IMGs who are non-US citizens, so international medical graduates who are non-US citizens. On the other hand, US IMGs refers to IMGs who are US citizens. US MD seniors refers to medical students in the United States in allopathic medical schools who usually apply in the fourth year of their medical school and match in March of that same year. DOS seniors are also US medical students, but they are in osteopathic, not allopathic medical schools. One thing to keep in mind when looking at these percentages is that they are hyperinflated. What do I mean by that? These match rates are for those who submitted a rank list, which means those who withdrew from the match or they didn't get enough interviews and they did not submit a rank list, and of course ended up not matching, these are not included in the denominator of this calculation. For example, in March 2024 for non-US IMGs, 940 applicants withdrew from the match and 1,826 did not submit a rank list, probably because they either did not get enough interviews or they got interviews at places they didn't want to go to. So for non-US IMGs, if you include these applicants, who are applicants in this cycle, in the calculation, in the denominator of the match rate, the percentage goes down from 58.5 to 45.8%. Also comparing this data to last year data, the match rate of non-US IMGs went down from 59.4% to 58.5%. So it's a small change, but that's a decrease from last year. And you can see a similar slight decrease in the match rate of US IMGs from 67.6% to 67%. Now let's look at which specialties did most non-US IMGs match at in March 2024. Of course, always number one, internal medicine, with 3,109 non-US IMGs match into this specialty. Another popular specialty for non-US IMGs is family medicine, with 706 applicants matching into that specialty. Other popular specialties for non-US IMGs are pediatrics, with 500 match applicants, neurology, with 204, Prelim surgery with 200 non-US IMGs matching into prelim general surgery, 185 in psychiatry, and 171 in pathology. For US IMGs, internal medicine is also number one with 1,089 applicants matching into internal medicine, followed by family medicine with 748 applicants, and emergency medicine with 325 US IMGs matching into that specialty. Other popular specialties for US IMGs is pediatrics with 230 and psychiatry with 178 applicants matching to those specialties. Now let's talk about surgical specialties because this is a question I get asked about a lot every day from applicants who are looking to match into surgical specialties in the US. I'm one of those people who heard the myth IMGs cannot match into surgical specialties. You should only think of uh, medical specialties when you're thinking about residency in the US and that is not true. And I'm gonna show you numbers and data. Let's start with categorical general surgery. This year 97 non US IMGs match into categorical general surgery and 81 US IMGs match into this specialty. One thing that this data does not show us is how many of those completed a prelim year in general surgery before starting categorical general surgery. We already covered prelim general surgery, but this year 200 non-US IMGs match into prelim general surgery and 80 US IMGs match into prelim general surgery. One thing to keep in mind though that matching into prelim surgery is not hard because it's only one year compared to the full training included in categorical general surgery. And I have made multiple blogs and videos about the difference between prelim and categorical general surgery. And I also published multiple papers about that and I'll leave the link for all these in the description below. And by the way, if you wanna to talk to an advisor to plan your future, you're interested in pursuing surgical specialties or internal medicine or any specialty, and you're not sure how to optimize your channel of, of matching how to become a success story become one of these people who match into their dream specialties we have a phenomenal list of advisors who match at top-notch institutions in both surgical and non-surgical specialties who are ready to help you guide you and answer any questions you have about the u.s residency journey so if you're interested in learning more go ahead and click the link in the description below and check our residency advising service and all the advisors that we have on our team and by the way this service is 100 percent satisfaction guarantee which means if you're not happy we give you your money back now let's continue to other competitive surgical specialties and we'll start with plastic surgery. In March 2024, 8 non-US IMGs and 2 US IMGs match into the extremely competitive field of plastic surgery. For neurosurgery, 16 non-US IMGs and 4 US IMGs matched 
into neurosurgery. Orthopedic surgery, two non-US IMGs and six US IMGs. ENT, five non-US IMGs and three US IMGs. Vascular surgery, eight non-US IMGs and three US IMGs. However, this year thoracic surgery was the surgical specialty that did not accept or match any IMGs, US or non-US. For OBGYN, 43 non-US IMGs matched and 53 US IMGs match into OBGYN. Now let's shift gears to cover other specialties that are not surgical but they are also fairly competitive. And I'll start with diagnostic radiology. This year 68 non-US IMGs and 24 US IMGs match into a PGY2 position for diagnostic radiology. And I want to take a second to explain here so when you're reading the NRMP data you understand what it means. Some specialties like diagnostic radiology or dermatology you apply to two positions at the same time when you apply to the match. The first is your intern Near, which you can generally do in internal medicine or surgery and for that you generally apply to a prelim position and separately you apply to a PGY2 position of that specific specialty like dermatology or diagnostic radiology so you might match in the same hospital and do both at the same place or you might match in one hospital for the prelim year and another hospital for the PGY 2, 3, and 4 for diagnostic radiology, for example. Some specialties like anesthesiology have a mix. So you'll see programs that take applicants throughout the whole four years, while other programs take you for the PGY 2 position separately from the PGY 1. But even dermatology or diagnostic radiology, there are programs that take you for the whole thing at the same time. But the majority of dermatology or diagnostic radiology positions are PGY 2 positions, while the majority of anesthesiology positions are PGY 1 positions. So this year for the PGY 1, positions of anesthesiology, 79 non-US IMGs and 56 US IMGs match into anesthesiology. Many ask me about dermatology and tell me, is dermatology impossible for IMGs to get in? We know it's extremely competitive specialties. And it is, it is competitive. It's not easy to get into dermatology. But this year, in March 2024, nine non-US IMGs and six US IMGs, so total of 15 IMGs, match into dermatology as a PGY2 position. Other competitive specialties are interventional radiology, with six non-US IMGs and two US IMGs, and PMNR, which is physical medicine and rehab rehabilitation with 10 non US IMGs and 12 US IMGs. So as you can see by the data, IMGs match in almost all specialties. Even thoracic surgery that did not have any IMG this year has taken IMGs in the years prior. So don't let anyone tell you it's impossible. I made it into plastic surgery, multiple of my colleagues and friends made it into extremely competitive specialties and you can too. Again, if you need help with your match application, need help with the personal statement, ERAS application editing, interview preparation, advice about the match process, make sure to check out our match application packages and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. And if at any time you have any questions about our services or courses, don't hesitate to go and schedule a free consultation with our customer support team and they will help guide you to the best service that can help you achieve your goal. Now I want you to tell me which specialty are you interested in in the comments below and whether after watching this video you think it's gonna be possible. If you found any value in this video, if it gave you any insight about the match process, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to share this video with your colleague who is also applying to the match and would like to have an idea about the match data. Wait, before you go, one final thing. I have a free course that I built to help USMLE aspirants learn about the US residency journey from the USMLE exams, to US clinical experience, research, and the match process itself. This course is fully free and you can access it by clicking on the link in the description below or the cards above. Thank you everyone so much for watching and good luck on your match. Peace. Thank you.